Broken family members are telling us about their loved ones who were shot and killed on that bus and two victims remain in the hospital recovering from their injuries. And that's where we find local sense Hatzel Vela who continues our live team coverage. Hatzel. Nicole, we are talking about two different men, two different lives, but tonight the pain is the same with both families. In one of his more recent music videos, here's Gregory Campbell showing us his talents, known by his rap name, Castro. The 32-year-old was an up-and-coming artist, described as a man with a big heart. This is him and his nephew. The Lauder Hill man leaves behind his mother and sister. He was, he was really passionate about his music, uh, he's passionate about his family, uh, passionate about his community. So it's, it's sad to see him pass the way he did. Then there's Danny Colon, the 41-year-old, also shot and killed. The father of three is seen here with his granddaughter. Like he's just a really loving man and really happy. So for him to, for this to happen to him is just really upsetting to us. Like it's just, it's just horrible for it to happen the way it did. Whether injured or not, the mental trauma is there for all those involved as witnesses drive by one after another. Those terrified bus passengers get off the county transit bus turned crime scene. We see the same thing happening from the back of the bus mid-afternoon Thursday following that deadly shooting. The driver of that bus heard several gunshots. That's when the bus driver pulls into the Fort Lauderdale police station. Inside that bus, four people shot. It was like a movie. We couldn't believe it. Not a movie here, but a real-life tragedy that could have been worse had it not been for that bus driver. Her quick actions, I am sure, saved lives. And let's not forget, there are two additional victims who were injured and remain in the hospital tonight. For now, reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News.